This season may well be remembered as the summer of controversy, and it seems from this episode that the summer hasn't yet finished. Well, okay, well, that's close. That time he's got in, playing back. The Indian captain not happy, saying that he may have hit that. What's going on? He's saying, please, please, what a tour. Travis Carr suggesting that he got a thick edge onto that delivery. The man who's walked so often this series, very annoyed with that decision. Pleading with Dennis Lilly, asking that he hit that ball. Let's have a look at it on replay. Well, it's a very upset Gavaskar. That ball keeping low. He was very determined about the fact, or very definite about the fact that he had hit it. And uh, it's an annoyed man, and he's still uh, not prepared to uh, not prepared to leave the ground. And wow, well, what a sensation, Ian! Cutting in there, he's taking his opening bat off with him. Does that mean he's declared? Or conceded the match? Surely not. Have a rethink, Sunil. When he gets in the calm of the dressing room, I'm quite sure that his teammates will come back, but he's a very, very annoyed captain. An LBW decision, the Australian players in a circle. The Indians cap captain taking his partner off the field. Well, let's also remember that that now takes Dennis Lee to 248 wickets. And I think we've got the wing commander, the, the manager, wing commander and he is telling Chahan to stay there and sending Ben Sarkar out so that that's a good move there on behalf of the manager of the Indian side and uh, it's a very upset Gavaskar who leaves the ground and we're going to have a listen our audio full up in this defensive front I couldn't really tell to be quite honest but certainly I would take Gavaskar's word that he thought he hit that ball Chauhan faces Bruce Yardley. It's in the air, but it's safe, and that's a good shot by Chet and Chauhan. Taking the attack up to the off spinner. This little man playing a fine innings. Lilly to Chauhan. And this is the ball that Dennis Keith Lilly will remember for many a long and happy day. And I'm glad to say it's a tremendous honour to be running second now to a cricketer of such supreme talent. That's out. That's what India didn't need. A short pitch. Chet and Chowhan and the record for Dennis Lilly, a magnificent cricketer. Congratulations all around, not only from his teammates, but our viewers throughout Australia, and certainly for the commentary team. Well played, Dennis Lilly. A magnificent career. Not ended. And getting wickets when his team needed them most. India on top, and Dennis Lilly, 249 test wickets. A magnificent performance. Well, my congratulations as well, Dennis. It's been a great uh, great performance, and that's how the record was broken. A square cut from Chowhan, head high to Bruce Yardley. He grabs it gleefully, and the Australian players rush to congratulate Dennis Lilly, the great. Now the leading wicket-taker for Australia, Dennis Lilly, 249 wickets, and there is the man that he has beaten, Richie Benno. And uh, Richie Benno... Almost as delighted for Dennis Lilly as Dennis Lilly looks up and waves to Richie Benno and the wave is returned. India have lost their second wicket, two for 176. Danny Pasco bowls to Ben Sarka. That's well played. Played away beautifully through mid wicket there. That ball slightly inclined to the leg side and Ben Sarka is very strong in that area. Rolling his wrist on the ball and the ball just running into the boundary. Well pitched up and well played.